Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey with Char on this lovely Saturday. I pray all is well in your neck of the woods, y'all. Let me tell you, you better get out and get what you need to get because people are out and y'all know how we are. We get so excited about the 4th of July and also um, gr trying to figure out because you know what you have to cook and you know what you're taking to the family gathering, barbecue, all of that stuff, y'all. So this is my little haul that I had to do today and I'm going to share with you the things that I got from Trader Joe's. Now I am going to do, I, I doubled, I got double of these items so that I can do a taste test for you. Um, that will be coming um, later after this. So I will try to do it the very next day so you all can get out to Trader Joe's and get these items before the 4th of July. However, they're also awesome for the entire summer. So let me get the cold stuff out of the way first. Let's start out with the out of this world popsicles okay out of this world ice popsicle strawberry blueberry and lemon and mind you this is trader joe's and grocery so this is a combination of just my grocery haul today all right these just look awesome they remind you of the old school um uh, ice cream truck Joshua, what was the name of these popsicles? I forgot what they were called, but I used to absolutely love them when I was a little girl but this is the ingredients not too crazy about the ingredients, but heck, it's one day and the kids are going to be burning this off, you all. All right, so that is what it looks like um, for the nutrition facts on the back, the ingredients, and I just think that the packaging is so cute and I can't wait to taste these. I love the strawberry, blueberry, and lemon combination. Always good, okay? So that is the Trader Joe's Out of This World Ice Pops. The next one we have here is the Blueberry Dream. Um frozen dessert bars they look amazing i'm a big blueberry fan so i just know that i'm going to love these we will be doing the taste test for you um and including this also in the taste test all right and that is the nutrition facts all the information there Let's see if we can get down here so you can see the ingredients i think the ingredients in these are a, a way more better than the rocket ones if you have a choice between the two, but I will taste them and let you know um, how they taste soon. So that is the black, no, blueberry dream frozen dessert bar. I cannot wait to taste that. All right, the next thing that I'm excited about, you guys, you guys know the Mexican pizza? So they have the layered beef tostada. I mean, these are easy to make, but if it's something quick and you want, maybe, you know, you have some teenagers, some kids and after school snack, or they've been out running around and you know, they want something quick and easy. I want to try these. It's ground beef, pinto beans, cheese layered, uh, between crispy tortillas. It's like the Taco Bell, uh, layered beef tostada, the one that comes with that. So I cannot wait to taste this. I will be trying this in front of you all. My family and I will be doing a taste test. Joshua, however, will not because there's cheese on it. It, but this is the ingredients of the um, tortilla dish okay and that's what it looks like so we can't wait to see how that tastes so you all stay tuned for that okay next thing we have here oh my goodness you guys if you have not tasted these yet y'all so many ice cream flavors and I love their coffee ice cream and I love their wild berry cheesecake is one of my new favorites you all it is fantastic Okay, and as you can see, I had this in my um, bag and it stayed frozen good. So anyway, it is amazing and perfect for 4th of July, especially if you have blueberry cobbler. This has bits of cheesecake in it and y'all, it is amazing. So I will be tasting this, my family and I, in front of you all so you can see what it looks like and we can give you um, our opinion, okay? So stay tuned for that. The next dessert that we have here that we're so excited about from Trader Joe's, I am a macaroon fan and I like their other macaroon and their frozen macaroons are pretty good. So when I saw these, I said, are you kidding me? Watermelon and peach macaroons. So there's a watermelon one and then there's the peach one. I think the one that's two-tone is the peach and the one that's just singular in color is the watermelon. But the packaging, Trader Joe's packaging is just outstanding. I just think that it's so beautiful and colorful. I just love the packaging. So these are perfect to put out at your family barbecue backyard barbecue get a bunch of these and just let them lay out and just let people just snack on them they're absolutely delicious and we're going to turn to the back and this is the calories okay there we go and this is the nutrition facts and the ingredients there we go okay 
pause that if you can and that's what they look like ah delicious cannot wait to try these very excited about these all right okay and the next thing we have here um i always get the corn dogs mommy's putting that barrier i always get their turkey corn dogs i love their turkey corn dogs my favorite so yes we have the turkey corn dogs and four comes in here i could have sworn i remember it used to be three i think it used to be three and they added an extra one if i'm dreaming Thank God that it's four now. So <laughs> I could have sworn it was just three in here. And I never understood why they only had three. So thank God it's four now. Okay, we got the beef birria. Uh, Joshua loves the beef birria um, tacos. So I just bought one because they're a little salty. I add, I kind of dilute this just to bring the salt down. But it is delicious. I do have a video that is up if you want to know how to prepare these the proper way um, from this frozen, not from scratch, from this frozen Trader Joe's. Um, beef birria tacos are a, I am hope I'm saying a birria, birria. Um, tacos are a um, popular taco here in Los Angeles. Street tacos, they're all at the food trucks, famous, um, um, very popular Mexican restaurants, and they're absolutely delicious. And they did pretty good, Trader Joe's. So I, if you're interested, I will put the link of how I prepared these from the frozen, not from scratch. It's a process, honey, preparing those from scratch. But um, you can check out how to prepare these and what you're supposed to do when they're prepared. And they're delicious. That's all I got to say, you guys. They are absolutely amazing. Okay, so we have that. We have, what else do we have? Oh, I got these two from Trader Joe's. We have our um, Hebrew National, because um, we're going to be taking these to the family barbecue. So we got two of those, Hebrew National. For those who want to make sandwiches, I, I brought that because some people don't like sandwiches. So we went ahead, head on and got a few of these. Um, and I got some croissants. I'll show you later on what I got for people who want to make a sandwich instead of having beef or you have to think about everybody you know at, the, at these things thank god that they have these we do have a lot of eggs but this is more so going to be used for my baking this weekend i'm doing some brownies child and she's making some um mommy's making some um potato salad so we're going to be new, needing to use some of these eggs and this is the half dozen um organic free range from trader joe's and i love that they sell those half dozens we also have here our strawberries organic strawberries strawberries been struggling this season but they're a little sweet but they're very small and they kind of look a little struggle you sit there you find yourself going through package after package until you find the right one but yes so we have these strawberries and then we have these blueberries. This is just for us to have in the home, um, just for our smoothies and just to snack on. We have here our organic broccoli, Florence, okay. We have our apples, so we have in the apples here. And we also, what else? Oh, I bought the fruit, because we need to, y'all, I use these to clean my eggs. I know, I use it to clean my eggs and I also use it, of course, to clean my fruit. I absolutely love this fruit and vegetable wash. It is just amazing. I love it from Trader Joe's. So we got some of those. And then, y'all, we're going to be out in that sun. Um, we have the one that's 70, but then also we have this one. Pretty good. I've heard um, rave reviews about it. So I went ahead on and got one tonight. Never ever can have too much sunscreen. Especially when you're going to be in backyard barbecues outdoor all day. You need to make sure your skin is protected. All right. And so we have two potatoes here because we needed some extra potatoes. So we went ahead on and bought two of these potatoes. So we got these beautiful potatoes. So we have these are what we're going to be making the potato salad with. Okay. So that's everything. Oh, and then we have our nuts here. Because I'm going to put some walnuts in the brownies. So I'm going to chop these up in nice um, rough chops and put them in the brownies. Oh, how can I forget? Thank you, Mommy. Oh, my goodness, you guys. This is going to be in the taste test. And I cannot wait to try this for you all. This is the strawberry and rhubarb. I have always wanted to try strawberry rhubarb pie. I've always heard about it. And I just said, what in the world? That just seems like... Let me tell you, she is excited about trying this pie. So they're the strawberry and rhubarb two all butter crust hand pies. And I wanted to try these for you before the fourth. So if they are good, delicious, y'all, 
y'all run out and get them for the 4th of July. That is another way to have dessert. You can put them in the oven while everybody's barbecuing out there, whatever, whatever. You can warm them up in your toaster oven, whatever you want to warm it up in. And then just think about having some delicious um, vanilla ice cream with this. I just think that that would just be wonderful. So I am so excited about trying the strawberry roux and rhubarb ham pies by Trader Joe's. So excited about that. And they were selling out fast so you guys get there quick we got these large bananas y'all need that potassium um these are good for our smoothies we'd like to cut them up freeze them and whatever a lot of people are making banana pudding so honey them bananas were leaving okay the next thing we have here is albacore tuna now we're going into the non trader joe's items the next item we have here is albacore tuna after the fourth um this week i don't know what i'm gonna do but i love keeping tuna in hand whether you just make tuna have it in the refrigerator and whenever you just want a nice tuna sandwich sandwich this is fantastic to always have available ready to go all right the next thing we have here are the country uh the bush beans um i do like making my baked beans um homemade she tired y'all she too tired so when you can't, you can doctor up the bush beans. So we got the country style baked beans and the brown sugar hickory baked beans. We love the bush bean bean brand when we do ha uh, when we're not doing it from scratch. We also have some beef here, original um, grass fed um, beef. Okay, and that's organic grass fed beef. So I have to let that thaw out. I put it in the refrigerator earlier, and child, it got frozen quick. All right, and so we have our um, hot dogs that we're taking to the family gathering hot dogs here. We have a couple of those. So I'm going to hand those to mommy. Uh, these are the brioche, if you guys want to know. They're the brioche hot dog buns. Okay. And then you all, they ran out of the regular ones, but we like sesame seed in this family too. So we got a few of these to take to the family gathering too as well sesame seed um and next thing we got here oh my goodness you guys i saw that they had the blackberry citrus um bigelow i had to try it y'all yes she opened it it is delicious you must run out if you like the blackberry and lemon together citrus um i think it's orange a little bit more orange in here let me see that's the ingredients do y'all see why this tea is delicious look at all that is inside this tea it is rose hip apple pieces, sweet blackberry uh, leaves. Um, oh my good, blood orange. Orange has just been my my thing this um, this uh, summer. I gotta show y'all what I did with my orange. Y'all gotta check out that orange um, video that I did. But anyway, the blackberry citrus, so delicious. And even let me show you the syrup. I slightly sweeten it with because I made a syrup. So I made a orange syrup here. And I add just a little bit to this. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is my orange syrup that I made. I will link the video. It is my latest video, you all. I will link it. I'm going to be making a cake very soon and I'm gonna show you the new cake pan right after this. Look at my cake pan my sister bought me. I picked it up today. She was like, I got you a gift. Let me take this out. Let me show you. It is the honeycomb loaf pan and it is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, and it was on sale, and sister bought this for me, and I just thought it was so sweet. Look at the beautiful bee. She knows I love bees and daisies, so if this, and honeycombs, if this is not the perfect loaf pan, I don't know what is. You guys, look at the design on that. I love the roping handle. I'm, I'm, I collect um, Nordic wear, so I was just too ecstatic to get this, you guys. Look at that. So I can't wait to make a cake and then take my orange syrup and just put a nice glaze on top and just let that be it. Just a delicious cake. So I'm thinking of making an orange pound cake. So I think that that's going to be delightful. If you wanna see that, let me know down below. Comment, I wanna see the cake. All right, you all, so that is my Nordic wear. I wanted to show you all that today. So yes, go out and get the blackberry citrus and that would be perfect with an orange, a piece of, um, um, of, um, of orange pound cake. Can you imagine how delicious that would be? I know, right? All right, so the next thing we have here, I'm going to be making brownies and I'm going to show you what pan I just purchased yesterday from Hobby Lobby. I have one in storage that is by Wilton, but I said, you know what? I can't find it. She's not gonna go dig for it. So I went ahead on and bought one from Hobby Lobby. You guys get to Hobby Lobby if you're trying to get like cake boxes or 
anything pertaining to 4th of July, everything is 50% off. So you guys get out there before the 4th if you need some finishing um, decorations or even leftover pans or just to uh, put your desserts and stuff out on. You guys go to Hobby Lobby and um, get what you see. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to show you what I picked up. Uh, this is the Pillsbury Chocolate Fudge. I am a big fan of Pillsbury and Ghirardelli's box brownies. I love doing my own homemade brownies. I love the Ina Garten um, recipe. It is absolutely delicious. But this honey, she ain't got time. Okay? So quick chocolate fudge. Um, and I love the fudge. I don't like the milk chocolate because it gets dark when it's the chocolate fudge. For those of you who have never had this, this is one of the best tasting brownies to me. Okay, if it's something quick. That's all you need is just oil, water, and two eggs. And you can always doctor this up because she's going to doctor it up because guess what she's going to put in there. I'm going to add a little bit of chocolate chips in the mix and I'm going to put my walnuts like I said I was going to do. But then on the top to make it patriotic for the 4th of July, I found these on sale half price off. Y'all, I was looking for sprinkles gone. Okay, so she found these red, right, and blue chips i'm gonna put these at the top like they are here and i just think that that's just gonna be adorable um my family likes walnuts and uh extra chocolate chips uh even extended family so they're like girl please fill it up so that's what we're going to do with that and i'm also taking some of these pies and yeah i so i think that's pretty good okay so the next thing we have here of course when you make your potato salad, you have to have full fat mayonnaise, child. Don't you come with that half fat mayonnaise, all right? You have to have the full fat. fat. Best foods or craft is the two mayonnaise that I choose whenever we do our um, potato salad. We do not play around. Some people call it Hillman too, okay? So anyway, I think Duke's is supposed to be pretty good. I haven't tried it. Let me know down below which one is your favorite mayonnaise. What company do you like? So anyway, we have our best foods. They were on sale, y'all. She did that digital coupon life. Y'all better sign up with them grocery stores do that digital coupon because it also takes off extra when they have it on sale in the store and then you do digital you get extra child all right then we have the sweet relish because we have to add that to the um potato salad we also have our yellow mustard okay mama says she don't play okay we we put it we have to have color my grandmother said honey i don't eat no white potato salad <laughs> You bring a white potato salad to my family's mm. barbecue. They're going to look at you like crazy. You better put some mustard in that, child. Anyway, these are my favorite. So we got the Korean barbecue. We got a few of those bags to take. Um, also, also the drinks, Joshua. Where's the drinks? So we got to show them the drinks that we got. Um, we also have the party ruffles. Um, the party size. The sour cream and cheddar. And we have the chive. What is this one? Sour cream and onion. I have some dips that I need to get. And then we also have these drinks, you guys. These also are from Trader Joe's, I forgot to mention. So we're carrying some of these drinks. Um, this one is the apple cider of Trader Joe's. And this one is the, y'all, this one disappears like crazy, okay? So we got these two. I also have some of the Waterloo's. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you which ones are the Waterloo's. I don't like to drink too much soda i like to be careful so i'm going to get a little bit of my orange syrup that i have and just add just a tablespoon to or to a tablespoon and a half and i'm fine y'all she is so happy about her little orange syrup that she made but anyway or i'll just drink these by themselves so this is the waterloo passion fruit this is the waterloo pineapple and this is the waterloo uh, uh, blackberry lemonade so we're going to be having these also at the family gathering i bought a bunch of these they were on sale at um whole foods very good sale and then we also are taking some of these the fentimins rose lemonade if y'all have not tried these oh my goodness they are absolutely amazing let, let me lift that up that is one of the best sodas you can get these from world market you can get these from target in a set of like four um and i think world market too but oh my goodness you guys make sure you go out and get some of those if you have never tried those okay next thing we have here um i got the organic sauerkrauts because um i just love sauerkraut <laughs> and i like sauerkraut on my hot dogs <laughs> so um got some of these and i just eat a bowl of sauerkraut sometime y'all so i had to go by costco and get those sauerkraut um, I did a, I did a real big Costco buy the other day. I should have did a haul and I forgot to mention that to you, but I forgot to get these. So I went ahead on and bought the sauerkraut and I went ahead on and also got some kimchi as well. Let me show y'all how much she is addicted to this kimchi. <laughs> Look at it. 
<laughs> look at that so i said oh my god i'm running out i gotta go back and get me some kimchi so these are good also for gut health y'all they got a lot of probiotics in it so it's really good for gut health as well okay and the last thing we have for the sandwiches you all um we bought a few of these and these are for those like i said family members who don't want beef and they don't want pork those who are doing and they just want a sandwich so we put these out on a beautiful tray and i'm going to show you the tray that i got here one of the trays that i'm going to carry the host has a lot of trays but i just like to carry extra stuff um and you just put these out and just let people make, put all the meat, the lettuce, tomatoes, and all that stuff, and let people make themselves a sandwich, however they like it. So, yes, I bought some, I'm bringing croissants, and people are bringing Kaiser rolls and different rolls and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's that. And I'm going to get this off the table, and then I'm going to show you the non-food um, items, and it's a, a small amount, so you guys don't worry about it. I'm not going to keep lingering on, because I know you have things to do. All right, so stay tuned for that. All right, you all. So these are the items that I got today that are, um, I'm going to use for the 4th of July that are, um, um, that are not food. Okay. So first thing we got here is this. I saw these, they were $4.99 you guys, and they are half priced. These are perfect. You get three of them and you get three of the tops you guys. So there's three of these, uh, three or four. Uh, yeah, I think it's three, three, three sets you get the top and the bottom these are perfect for um putting dishes in if you want to put baked beans in here you want to put the potato salad in here you want to bake a cake in here whatever you decide you want to do and cover it and take it to the um uh, gathering or you can use these as leftover uh, containers whatever you decide to do with them I just thought it was really cute I love the fact that it has the blue and white gingham the old truck and it softens up um, if not to, where everything is just not everything is red white and blue you got a little bit of some other little things in there to soften up everything around okay so I just thought that this was really cute and perfect and useful so I'm gonna be carrying these with us tomorrow trust me and they're really big um, they are here. Here's the size and that's the size of them right there. I hope y'all can see that. And I just thought that they were just perfect just to carry something extra, you know, just in case, um, we need to use it for something. This is what I bought to cook the, um, brownies in. This is what I bought to cook the brownies in. This was half price. It was regular $9.99. I'm going to put this up for you guys. You can see that it was regular $9.99. All of the baked goods stuff is on sale for uh, half price. So I was just amazed and I just love when Hobby Lobby does that. This is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead on um, and do this. This is brownie bar pan. So we're going to make the brownies and go ahead on and test that out. You guys will see that video coming soon. The next thing I got from Hobby Lobby is this cute adorable y'all know she loved the bees the bee tray this was $11.99 and so I went ahead on and got that because it was half price y'all just look at the beautiful bumblebees I just love it with their hive the little hive or what do you call that little bumblebee house the hive but the honeycomb I just love it it's just so beautiful and it's perfect for summer and perfect to add like I said you can put the um, croissants on here you can put like something of course to protect the um, the bread but you can lay out the breads where people can grab their breads you can put dessert you can put drinks on here whatever you decide you want to do I just thought it was perfect um, and not just for backyard barbecue honey this is perfect for if you want tea I'm making that cake I'm making that cake I'm gonna show you how you can put a beautiful um doily like a beautiful rectangular doily if you want in a cake and a rectangular cake pan and you can use a rectangular cake um board and you can literally like look how cute that is literally use this to put the cake on if you want to i just thought it was really cute because it's all bumblebee y'all y'all see the thing so anyway so it got this half price um, the next thing I got um, was we went by Michael's and uh, that's where I got the red, white, and blue sprinkles from. But I also saw this. So we went ahead and got a few of these. I thought that they were really cute to be uh, festive. And then also, you guys, this was like 75%. 
$20. This was like 75, 80% off. I said, are you kidding me? This is too pretty. So I went ahead on and got this home sweet home. Perfect to put some flowers in there and just, oh my goodness. I mean, you can use it for milk or whatever you decide you want to use it for. But I just thought it was really pretty to put flowers in. And it's perfect for times like this, y'all. Spring, summer. I just love strawberries. It's so pretty in its country. I just think it's adorable. All right. And the last thing we got, of course, who, y'all, rental wrap is a part of the family honey okay we love Reynolds wrap so I went ahead on and got some Reynolds wrap because you always need something to wrap with I also stopped by the Dollar Tree because I needed to get some cards and stuff and so I saw this and I said you got to be kidding me one dollar one dollar and 25 cents it's 150 recipes for every social occasion whole 30 friends and family Melissa Hartwig Urban whoever she is but it's a lot of recipes in here you guys and they're very healthy lot of healthy delicious hosting recipes and i said oh my goodness this is nice i think it's also a nice gift to add to um when you're going to a barbecue i always say bring something nice to the host child this was one dollar and 25 cents you can make a little basket you can add that in it put some flowers you can do some different little things and just carry this beautiful um gift I, if you look it up online i bet you this book is more than ten dollars okay but look at all of the delicious uh recipes that she has in here it's just delicious. I thought it was pretty good for a dollar and 25 cents. That's pork chili verde. I mean, it's nice. So anyway, so we got that and I'm going to carry that to the host. I got one for myself too as well. And then also last but not least, we got these celebrate. This was from um, Michael's too. So we got these half price. And I got these and I thought that they were really cute in case I decide to make some cupcakes last minute because they say, girl, bring some cupcakes. So I went ahead on and got these perfect for that. If I don't use them this year, I will use them next year. I just think that they're really cute. And last but not least, y'all, the last thing. Oh, remember I told y'all to use that digital child she used the digital and got these i've got so many of these waters that i'm going to carry tomorrow i'm going to put them with once we get there in the ice so everybody can have water also as well 94 cents y'all yes 94 cents at bonds or pavilion so make sure you do your digital okay so we got that last thing we have here is something that i look forward to doing every single day i cannot live without doing this or i don't know child she she will be stressing out so this is the best way i choose to live my life mommy saw this sign and we went ahead on and got this i just think that it is just beautiful it says good morning this is god i'll be handling all of your problems today isn't that what we love him for so much when we just give him our problems when we turn everything over to him and don't worry about it anymore and trust that he is going to take care of it and just obey what he tells us to do we know that he has our backs because he promised to never leave us nor forsake us y'all so put your trust in him okay let him care and handle your problems today all right you all so thank you so much for tuning in to journey with Shar. if this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see please hit that subscribe button make sure you also hit the notification bell every time i upload a new video it will alert you and you all can come and check me out and see what i'm doing you all i pray and hope everything is going well for you your family's coming in safe and you all are being kind to one another and loving to one another remember i told you i have a brownie video coming up so you all stay tuned for that so thank you so much for tuning in take care of one another love one another i'll see you soon remember always trust god keep him first and he'll always lead you in the right direction god bless bye bye